guys. Welcome to Kids Yoga today. Hi. I am super excited because we're going to be doing The Secret Life of Pets 2. Last time we did Secret Life of Pets. And this time it's Secret Life of Pets 2. And this one we are going to meet Captain Snowball. And then we're also going to learn about how this little dog wants to become queen of the cats. Before we start, we're gonna go ahead and, which one? We're gonna meet the pets, okay? So go ahead and get out an animal of your choice at home, a stuffed animal or a doll, and I see all of you guys have your stuffed animal on your head, so uh, I'm gonna do that. Let's do that. Take your stuffed animal at home, whatever animal you have or doll, and place them on your head. You guys are being really silly today. I see you. <laughs> and let's start out with a balance, because yoga is about balance, not just in your body, but in your heart and mind. Let's go ahead and stand. I'm going to come a little lower so you can see I'm standing. And then let go. Now, if your yoga friend does not stay up there, because some stuffed animals are floppy, you can hold it up with one hand. Good. I see you. Okay. So now that we have our balance down on our body, now let's find some balance in our heart and mind. So go ahead and take your yoga friend and put them close to your heart. And we're gonna inhale. And then as we exhale, bring your yoga friend's heart to the screen so I can see. Mine says love on the shirt. Aw. And then exhale back to your heart. Let me fix my yoga friend's shirt here. Ready? At your heart. Inhale. And exhale, bring your yoga friend's heart to the screen. Good. Now, let's go ahead and balance the mind. So take your yoga friend down. And we're going to take our hands in prayer. And this is our peaceful breath. As you inhale, bring your hands up to your mind. And exhale down to your heart. Inhale, bring it up to your mind. Exhale down to your heart. Good. Now let's put it all together. In yoga, we want to balance our body, our heart, and our mind. So you ready to have some fun? Take your yoga friends to the body first and balance. I'm going to stand back so I can actually balance. So I have my yoga friend on my head. You have your yoga friend on your head. I see. You can hold your yoga friend there up if you want. Next, take your arms out, balance. Good. Take your hands at your heart in prayer. This is your heart. Good. Inhale, bring your hands to your mind. And exhale back to your heart. Good. One more time. Inhale up to your mind. Exhale back to your heart. Good. Now take your hands, whoa, take your hands one over the other at your heart. Good. And I want you to stand back. Go ahead and walk back a little bit from the screen. Good. Hands one over the earth, the heart. Good. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, walk forward, balancing your friend on your head and open your heart. Good. And then exhale. Hands at your heart, walking back. Oh, be careful. Good. Try it again. Inhale and exhale. Walk forward. Open your heart. Keep that balance. Whoa, good job. Inhale and exhale. Go back. Hands
hands at your heart. Oh, we did it! If your yoga friend fell down, that's okay. Let's go ahead and give our yoga friend a hug. You ready? Inhale and exhale. Ah, you guys are good at that one. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Good. So that was fun doing some balancing. Now we're going to go right to our story. Keep your yoga friend near you because we may be using that during some of our poses as we do our story. So before we go into the secret life of pets two, we're gonna meet the pets one more time. And if you watch the last video, hi. <laughs> if you watch the last video, we already met the pets, but there's going to be some new pets we meet. So here we go. Meet the pets. So let's see. Oh, this is funny, look. Oh my goodness, I think he's saving him. So if you remember the story, they work together. So here's the story. Do you ever wonder what your pets do when you're not home? Meet Max and his friends to find out. Wow, there's a big dog and a small dog and a big happy face. And there's some other dogs upstairs in the apartment complex. And there, oh, that's a cat. There's a cat, a dog, and a dog. And then there are two dogs and a hamster downstairs. Okay, this is Max. Max is one lucky dog. He lives in New York City in an apartment building filled with his pals. Hi, I'm Max. Max loves his owner, Katie, and waits all day for her to come home. So if you remember in the first story, Max sits by the door and he sits and then he spins and then sits. You wanna do that? Let's go and take our yoga friend, pretend that Max's friend Katie left and Max is home alone. You ready? Take our yoga friend down and go into our down dog pose and put our yoga friend underneath us. Okay, down dog. Good. And now let's do what Max does. Let's go ahead and sit. Come on your knees and sit. Do a doggy bag. Come up, good, come down, and come back to our down dog. Pick our doggy legs, wiggle our doggy tail, and come down and sit. Little pause, and lift up, and down. Good, now Max spins around. So let's go ahead and come on all fours. And we're gonna spin around. Now, can you go around? Your yoga friend is underneath you and we're gonna walk in a circle around our yoga friend. So, we're gonna come to our down dog and then go in a circle around our yoga friend. <laughs> Good! How you doing? How you doing it? Good. Now let's go the other way around, okay? Here we go. Whoa. Good. Did you step on your yoga friend? Be careful. That was cool. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Come into our down dog and start. And kick our legs. Good, wiggle our tail. I like that one. And then sit, little puppy paws. And come up and down and back 
to our down dog. Kick our legs. Wiggle our tail. And then we sit, because we are good dogs, right? We are good dogs. And we are happy dogs. Come up and come down. Now you're ready to spin. This is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Are you guys okay? Let's go slowly. Okay, get our down dog. Put your yoga front down and walk around. Whoa, I see you. <laughs> okay, you wanna try the other way? Let me see how you doing. How you doing? You going the other way around? Good, don't step on your yoga, friend. <laughs> oh, you guys, some of you are pretty fast. Be careful. Good job, I like how you added some kicks in there. That's a lot of fun being a dog, huh? Great job, guys. Okay, doggies, let's go ahead and come up. And then let me grab my yoga Okay, now that we have met Max, and we've done some sitting, some stretching, and circling around, just like Max did when Katie left, let's meet the next one. Duke. Oh. Duke was adopted from the pound. He is Max's new brother. Whoa, that's a really fluffy big dog. He's cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think Duke wants Max's bed. Duke is excited about his new home that Max isn't ready to share. Then there's Gidget. Here's Gidget, the fluff ball. Gidget loves Max. She's the sweetest Pomeranian. But don't let her squeaky voice and puffy fur fool you. Ha. Ah. Gidget would go anywhere or do anything to save Max. So I think we're going to learn a story about saving Max. So we are going to do what we did last time. We're going to be a big fluff ball. So we're going to go into reaching back for our feet and get really round in our belly. Oh, go ahead and be a big Ball. <laughs> and roll around, rock side to side. Good. And another way to be a big fluff ball is to go on your back and be a round ball. <laughs> Good. Okay. You guys can keep rolling around if you like, and we're gonna meet the next animal who lives in the apartment complex. This is a cat, Chloe. I see you rolling around there, Chloe. Now Chloe is really, has a really big belly too. <laughs> Chloe is one fussy feline. Chloe can't be bothered unless you have food. Is one of her best friends, even though he's a dog. So we're gonna go in cat pose and then lay on our side like Chloe and have really short, cute little paws. You ready? So come into your cat pose and do some cat stretches. Ooh, that feels good. Are you ready to lay on your side? And little cute clap, paws and feet. And then roll over, little cute cat paws and feet. And then roll to the other side. <laughs> and then come back up and some cat stretches. Oh, we are moving everywhere today. That was fun. Let's try that again. I'll face you. You ready? Can you show me? Okay. Let's 
let's roll on our side. Little cat, cute paws and feet. You got it, good. And then lay on our back. Little cat, cute paws and feet. <laughs> I see you. Good job, guys. And then roll to the other side. And little cute paws and feet. And then back up, whoa. And then some more cat stretches. That was fun. We are rolling around a lot. Okay, and then there is another one of the friends who lives in the apartment complex is Mel. Hi, I'm Mel. Mel looks really happy. Wow. Mel is a friendly pug, but not when it comes to squirrels. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. He thinks squirrels are going to take over the world. Mel chases and barks at them every chance he gets. Oh, look at that face. Okay, we're going to be Mel. Show me a happy face. <laughs> and we're gonna chase squirrels. Are you ready? Let's go into our down dog. Okay. And we're going to bend our knees so we can get ready to pounce. So go ahead and bend your knees. And come back to down dog. Good. Bend your knees. And back to down dog. One more time. Get ready. Bend those knees. And we're going to pounce. Good. And back to down dog. Ready? Let's do that again. Bend the knees. Good. One more time. Bend the knees. And jump. Pounce. One more down dog. We are reaching for that squirrel. I think this time we'll get to the squirrel. Bend the knees. One more time. squirrel go after we get the squirrel. Okay, so we had fun being Mel. Now we have Buddy. So Buddy is right here. Whoa, where, where's Buddy? That's part of Buddy. Whoa. That's a long Buddy. So, Buddy is a long and awesome dog. Buddy and Mel go a long way to help their friend Max. You ready? Let's be a long dog. So, we're going to go and tail dog. And then get long. Good. And down dog. you can be good one more time down dog get long good now let's go on our back and stretch our arms and be even longer let me go on our back be really long reach your arms reach your feet good and then reach to the side and stretch to the side really long. Let's do that one more time. Side, reach. Are you super long? Other side. Ah, that feels good. Ah, I feel longer already. Do you feel longer? <laughs> Okay, so next we have some other animals. We have Norman. 
Norman. There's Norman. Hello, Norman. So Norman is a little guinea pig. And then we do our guinea pig breath. Take your hands, hold your little guinea pig. Inhale and exhale, show me your guinea pig. Inhale, exhale, there he is. <laughs> One more, inhale and exhale. Aw, little Norman. Okay, then we move on and we have um, Leonard. Leonard, hello, music and Leonard. Leonard is very, very important. Leonard always follows the rules. A little snob nosy, but when his owner leaves the house, let's see what happens. Leonard looks like a pretty posh poodle, but Leonard turns up the volume and becomes a heavy metal mutt after his owner leaves. Okay, so we're gonna sit like Leonard. Very important, very snub nose. You ready? We're gonna go ahead and sit. I'm gonna sit like Leonard. Put your nose up, we're very important. When the owner leaves, turn the music up, and yay, party! <laughs> Good, let's try that again, okay? Let's come from down dog and then sit down. Be very important. Put your nose up. Turn the music up. And then the owner leaves the house and we party. I think you guys have been practicing that one. <laughs> okay. Let's see what other animals we meet. Then there's Pops. Pops? This is Pops. He is old and wise. Even though Pops needs a doggy wheelchair, this old basset hound gets around. He knows the city like he knows the back of his paw. Then, when Max goes missing, Pops leaves his friends on the search to find him. So something's gonna happen. Now we meet Snowball! Ah. Snowball is one tough bunny. Abandoned by his owner, Snowball vowed revenge on all humans. Hee <laughs> hee. Liberated forever, domesticated never. He is the leader of the flushed pets. These abandoned pets live in the sewers beneath the city. And then there is Ozone. Oh my goodness, that is a strange looking cat. This cat has a bad attitude. Ozone and his gang rule the alleys and fight dirty. They don't like intruders on their territory. Can you make a funny face? Like Ozone? <laughs> you guys are really good at that. Let me try. <laughs> and then there is Tattoo. Tattoo. Tattoo is a tough pot belly pig got inked by his owners. They practiced drawing their tattoos on him. Now Tattoo works for Snowball as his faithful second in command. And then there's Ripper. Ah. Snowball and his gang rescued Ripper from animal control. Ripper wears a muzzle because his bite is worse than his bark. Then there is Derek. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Derek was flushed when he got too big. Now a 
member of the Flushed Pets Gang. He is Snowball's backup on dangerous missions. And then there is Bearded Dragon. Bearded Dragon is a cold-blooded lizard. He loves to drive cars, even though he doesn't know how. He is crazy at the wheel. Are you ready to find out what happens? Here we go. Pets to a snowball. I'm Snowball. I watch over the city. I protect its pets and people. I do all kinds of other superhero stuff. I'm Captain Snowball. Everybody, all the people fear me. <gasps> Here I am with my gang. I attack people on the street. Yeah, I hated humans and I want to do harm to them. Until one day, a tiny dog came into my life and showed me that not all humans are mean. And then a little girl came along, came along and took me into her home. The little girl's love showed me the error in my ways. I vowed from that day forward to never be a bad bunny again. But if you are an evil doer, then prepare to meet my fury fist of my furry fists of fury, furry fists of fury. That's hard to say. Wow, bow, bang. When crime calls, I answer. And let me tell you, crime does not like my answer. Dun, dun, dun. I'm also pretty sure I can fly if I jump off of things. I can do karate with carrots. And carrots, they give me super eyesight. Bad guys cannot sneak up on me. Whoop, yikes. Oh no, he's coming. When I am not protecting my, when I am not protecting the innocent, I am eating cereal with my girl Molly. Aww, so cute and fluffy. Aww. We have meetings and tea parties. And I let her win at our favorite video games. I let her win, of course. And because the most important superpower is to be lovable and snuggable. Are you ready? We're gonna go into a pose called bunny pose. Take your arms up by your ears. And we're gonna go on our knees and have bunny ears and then reach our bunny ears long and come down. Let's do that again. Show me your bunny ears. Reach your bunny ears long and bunny stretch down. Ah. One more. That's fun. Little bunny ears. Stretch those bunny ears. And stretch down. Ah. Now let's wiggle our bunny tail. <laughs> Good. Okay. We're going to go ahead. What happened? So, 
This bunny Snowball used carrots for better eyesight and did karate with carrots. So we're gonna go ahead and stand up. Pick up a leg. Hold your carrots. Circle your carrots around. Are you holding carrots? And then kick, karate kick. Good. And then circle your carrots the other way and karate kick behind you. Whoa. And that's because Snowball thinks he can fly. So now we're flying with our carrots. Let's try the other side. Pick up your carrots, circle your carrots. Have some good eyesight, good. Pick up a leg, ready to do karate with your carrots and kick. Good balance. And then circle your carrots the other way. And then we kick behind us. And now we're flying, just like Snowball says he can do. Good. Now do you want to try that with balance? Take your yoga friend. Oh, can we do this? Now remember, you can always hold up your yoga friend with one hand, right? And you don't have to have something on your head if you don't want to. Oh, you guys look cute. Are you ready? Okay. Yoga friend there. Whoa, I don't know if I can do it. Here we go. Pick up your carrots. Oh my goodness, I have to circle my carrots slowly. That's hard. How are you doing? Okay. And then we pick up our leg. Whoa. Oh my goodness. And then we do our kick like snowball forward as we circle our carrots. Okay, circle your carrots the other way. You got it, guys. You got it. And then we kick behind us. Be careful. Yoga friend on your head. Hey, good job. Very good. And we're flying. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was really good. Want to try the other side? You can do it. Ready? Yoga friend on your head. That is hard to do as it is. How you doing? Good. Okay. Take your carrot circle. Whoa. If you can do this, that's great. Now let's try the other leg. And then we're going to karate kick forward just like snowball. Whoa. Good job! And circle our carrots the other way. Karate kick behind us. And now we're flying. Wow, if Snowball the bunny could see us. Good job, I see you. Oh my goodness. Ooh, let's go ahead and give our yoga friend a hug. That was amazing, guys. Inhale. And exhale. Ah, one more time. Inhale and exhale. You are very balanced in your mind and body and heart. Good job. So we're going to continue on. We have another story. It's part of Pet, Pets 2. And this is about meeting the queen of cats. So in this movie, The Secret, Lights of Pets, Secret Life of Pets 2, there is a dog that wants to become a cat. Here we go. Hi, I'm Gidget. I'm a fluffy Pomeranian. I'm Max's friend. Max has lots of toys, but Busy Bee is Max's best favorite toy. One day, Max's brother Duke, remember Duke, the big fluffy dog, told them they were going on a trip. Max dug through his toys. He wanted Gidget to watch Busy Bee for him.
Gidget had a fun time playing with Busy Bee the toy until Busy Bee the toy fell out the window. Busy Bee the toy fell into an apartment filled with cats. Oh no. Gidget was afraid to go inside because cats roam day and night, even watching TV at night. Gidget needed help, so she called her friend Chloe the cat. Chloe said, I can teach you, Gidget, how to be a cat. Sweet Pea and Buddy agreed to help. There is Gidget up there, and there's Sweet Pea and Buddy. Mel thought that he could help by eating potato chips. Gidget put on some pink cat ears. Okay, do I look like a cat now? So we're gonna go ahead and put a little sock on your tail. So you look like a cat that way. Let's go ahead and put on some pink cat ears and then put a sock right here. Let me get a sock. <laughs> Cute. We're gonna go into our cat pose. Are you ready? Go into our cat pose. Let's stretch our cat arms and legs. Oh, this feels good. Good. And then we can also stretch side. Wow. Stretch side. Whoa. <laughs> Be careful, I almost fell over. Good. And then we can do some cat stretches, reach out our claws, reach back. Ooh. And then try one side, reach our cat claws, stretch. Okay, and we have our kitty ears on. <laughs> Let's come up to the screen and do some kitty ear breath. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. And then let's have the fun part. Go down so I can't see you. You guys ready? Hello. Hello. Here we go. Ready? Inhale. Ears up. Exhale, ears down. Good. Inhale, ears up. <laughs> you guys are funny. Exhale, ears down. Too silly. Now let's go sideways. Can you go sideways? Ready? Here we go. Inhale, ears up. Exhale, ears down. You guys are really silly. Okay, let's try the other side. Go the other side. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Ready? Inhale, ears up. Ah. Exhale, ears down. <laughs> you guys are making funny faces. Wonderful. Okay, that was really fun. So now, Let's go ahead and see what they're doing. Ooh, okay, so they're on the computer, it looks like. Chloe taught Gidget how to bother humans. Oh, you bother humans by walking on the computer. So cats like to walk on the computer. Okay, so practicing doing that. And then it says you also have to practice using the litter box. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, and next, they saw Busy Bee, Max's toy, and all the cat's eyes were on it. Oh no, so Norman pointed a laser because cats like to chase lasers. 
And then they brought the cats brought Busy Bee back to Gidget and named Gidget the queen of cats. And Gidget said, I'll stay a cat now. I am the queen of cats. That was fun. So let's go ahead and be a cat dog. Are you ready? So we're gonna go into our cat pose. Okay. Everybody do some cat stretches. And then go into our dog. Do some dog stretches. Good, now we're gonna put that together and be one half cat, one half dog. So when you're in down dog, take one knee down. Are you ready? So we're in down dog, we're a dog. Put one knee down. Now you're a dog cat. And go back to dog. Other knee down. Dog cat. Good, let's do it again. Down dog. wanted to be cats. That was really fun. Go ahead and come back to picking up your yoga friend. Let's do our heart breath again. Take your yoga friend at your heart. Inhale and exhale. And inhale back to your heart. And exhale. And we'll oh, go ahead and add on our heart hands. Take your hands and a heart. This will be fun. You guys are good at this. Ready? <laughs> inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Nice. And let's do our peace breath. Inhale, rise the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower to your heart. One more inhale, feeling peaceful and calm. Good. Exhale, lower. We're done with yoga, we always say namaste. Good, what does namaste mean? The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Good, thank you guys, I hope you had fun.